Ever wondered how businesses determine the right price for their products? It's not as simple as plucking a figure from thin air or just deciding on a round number. Price determination is a crucial part of marketing strategy, and it can make or break a product's success. In the vast ocean of marketing, setting the right price is like finding a needle in a haystack. Businesses grapple with questions like, how high is too high, or how low is too low? And to further complicate matters, they must also consider their competitors' pricing and the perceived value of their product in the eyes of consumers. Enter the Van Westendorp Price Sensitivity Meter. This handy tool, named after its creator Peter Van Westendorp, offers a way to navigate these murky waters. It provides valuable insights into the price range that customers find acceptable, too expensive, or too cheap. So, let's delve into the intriguing world of the Van Westendorp Price Sensitivity Meter. The Van Westendorp Price Sensitivity Meter, quite a mouthful, isn't it? But don't be intimidated, it's simpler than it sounds. This ingenious tool, devised by Peter Van Westendorp, is a method used to understand how consumers perceive the price of a product or service. It's like a secret weapon in the world of marketing, helping businesses find that just right price. So how does it work? Well, it's based on four key questions. These questions aren't about the weather or your favorite color. They're all about price perception. Let's break them down. Question one, at what price would you consider the product to be so expensive that you would not consider buying it? This question helps identify the price point that consumers perceive as too high. Question two, at what price would you consider the product to be priced so low that you would feel the quality couldn't be very good? Here, we're looking for the price that's so low consumers start to doubt the product's quality. Question three, at what price would you consider the product starting to get expensive so that it is not out of the question, but you would have to give some thought to buying it? This question helps us find the point where the price starts to feel a bit steep, but not entirely out of reach. And the final question, at what price would you consider the product to be a bargain, a real steal? This is where we find the price that consumers perceive as a fantastic deal. These responses help us sketch a price sensitivity curve. The intersecting points of this curve reveal the optimal price range for the product or service, the sweet spot where most consumers feel the price is just right. Think of it like Goldilocks tasting the porridge. Not too hot, not too cold, but just right. That's what the Van Westendorp price sensitivity meter helps businesses find the just right price. So we've understood what the Van Westendorp price sensitivity meter is, but how does it work in practice? Now imagine you're launching a new product. How would you use the Van Westendorp price sensitivity meter to find the right price? Let's dive into a hypothetical scenario. You're a company launching a new innovative smartwatch. You want to set a price that's attractive to consumers yet profitable for your business. This is where the Van Westendorp price sensitivity meter comes into play. Start by asking your potential customers the first key question. At what price would you begin to think the smartwatch is too expensive? As responses come in, you'll find a range of prices that consumers deem as the point of being too costly. This is your upper price limit. Next, pose the second question. At what price would you consider the smartwatch to be priced so low that you'd question its quality? The responses to this question will give you your lower price limit. Pricing below this could make consumers suspicious of the smartwatch's quality. The third question to ask is, at what price would you consider the smartwatch to be a bargain, a great buy for the money? The answers here will provide you with an optimal lower price point. It's a price that consumers see as a great deal, yet doesn't make them question the quality. Finally, ask the fourth question. At what price would you consider the smartwatch starting to get expensive, but you still might consider buying it? This gives you the optimal upper price point. It's a price that's seen as expensive, but not so much that it deters potential buyers. Plot these four points on a graph, and where they intersect, 
is your optimal price range. It's the sweet spot where the maximum number of consumers perceive your product as good value for money. You can then use this information to set a price that's within the optimal price range. This way, you're aligning your pricing strategy with what your potential customers are willing to pay, maximizing your chances of success. And there you have it. With the Van Westen Dorp price sensitivity meter, you're not just guessing a price, you're making an informed decision. So, we've tackled the Van Westendorp price sensitivity meter, but what's the takeaway here? Quite simply, it's an invaluable tool for discerning the ideal price range based on consumer perception. We've seen how it helps us identify the sweet spot where price meets demand, and how it guides us away from pricing pitfalls that can harm sales. It's a compass in the vast sea of marketing strategy. Remember, in the world of business, knowledge is power, and understanding the Van Westendorp price sensitivity meter gives you the power to price products effectively. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, click the like button or consider subscribing to the channel. There will be more educational videos coming soon, so it would be very nice to have you around. Until next time, peace out.